For more on this developing situation, we welcome in Vincent Mercagliano, Rangers reporter for USA Today. And uh, Vincent, obviously a very bizarre story, but what have you been able to gather throughout the day on what's happening here with Artemi Panarin? Well, this was definitely unlike any day I have had covering the Rangers. One minute you think you're preparing for a run-of-the-mill practice, and the next minute you were writing about Vladimir Putin. It's been a crazy day. Uh, the phone started blowing up this morning. And basically what I've been able to gather is that Artemi Panarin is taking a leave of absence from the Rangers, indefinite amount of time. It could be short. It could be long. We still don't know. But basically what happened was a story ran on a Russian sports website in which a former coach of Panarin's during his time in Russia made accusations of him. The quote, the translation loosely is beat, beat an 18 year old woman following a game in December 2011. So we're talking nearly 10 years ago. And as the story has unfolded, what the Rangers are saying, what the people from Panarin's inner circle are saying is that this is an, an intimidation tactic, uh, retribution, if you will, for Panarin being an outspoken opponent of Russian President Vladimir Putin. He has spoken out against him a few times. He recently expressed his support for the opposition leader. So Panarin is fearful, from what I understand, of the safety of his family that remains in Russia. And they are vehemently denying these allegations. We're still waiting to hear. We don't want to be dismissive of anything, but this is not coming from a victim. It's coming from a former coach. And the Rangers are saying to Panarin, listen, take your time, do what you need to do. We want to make sure that you and your family are, are safe. All right, so you led me to my next question. What needs to happen for Artemi Panarin and the Rangers to feel comfortable with him back on the ice and playing with the team? Well, I think a lot of it depends on him and how comfortable he is with his personal life, with the safety of his family, and some of the things that we just touched on. Obviously, I'm sure everybody wants to see these allegations cleared up. We know that the coach that made the accusations is a supporter of Vladimir Putin and has a history of vocalizing that. And, and you know, we've heard a lot of different rumors. But basically, the Rangers, I'm sure, want to, you know, have – whether police reports come out, whether they don't, the coach said that there are police reports, but we still haven't seen anything. Um, whether we find out anything along the lines of that, we're waiting to see. But the Rangers right now are saying that they do not believe that these allegations are true. So I don't think that they're worried about that from what I've been hearing. I think it's more so Panarin kind of getting this straightened out on his end and making sure his family is safe. Definitely a story with plenty of loose ends still. Uh, the Rangers are back in action on Wednesday in Philadelphia. Vincent Mercagliano, thanks for joining us here on Geico Sports Night. No problem.